Okay, welcome guys. Um, today we have a controversial and decisive uh, topic. Um, in my opinion, it should not be. Um, there's pretty much one way to see things here in this uh, opinion of mine. But outside opinions are not always wrong, okay? But today we're talking about the Black Panthers. All right. The Black Panthers are controversial. And, like, I always thought... Okay. The Black Panthers are controversial, at least in the South. Can I just set, premise it with that? Because I don't actually know if it's like this anywhere else. Okay? So I'm just talking about what it's like in the South. And when I say the South, I mean the South, like Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Tennessee... Maybe even like North Carolina. Okay. Um, like majority. Okay. Obviously there's exceptions to everything. But majority wise. It seems like schools in the South teach that the Black Panthers were like really bad people. That they were domestic terrorists. Marxist terrorists. That they were a militant group that was out to only cause violence. MLK hated them. You know, these were the things that, like, we were told. So it doesn't make sense when I do some research, when I hear about some shit online, and I start to find out that the Black Panthers were literally the good guys. Um, I mean, I just looked into it objectively. I didn't even try to be like, ooh, whatever. Like, what do I... I want to change my opinion on this or I don't want to. I just looked it up because I was interested. Like, like how you would watch a documentary is how I was, I was just, like, informing myself of things. Okay? I like to learn a little bit, and this was part of that. <clears throat> yeah, no, I would just say that what I learned is that the Black Panthers were completely innocent. They were totally the good guys. White cops and white government officials and politicians were not respecting them. They were shitting all over black people. They killed the guy in the liquor store. And then the Black Panthers started from that. It's not that the Black Panthers just fucking started killing people for no daggone reason. And that they were terrorists. Like, it's not like some random group. White people had enslaved their entire race. And fucking were treating them like shit and killing people. This is why this happened. Like, when you put it in that context, it really starts to change the history for you. Because up until now, I had always thought they were just violent oppressors who went about it the wrong way. They should have done the MLK way. Right? I had always been under the impression that MLK was the proper way to move forward the nonviolent way. But it's kind of like you got to ask yourself a question. Do you think it's morally okay to kill people in war? A lot of times people will say something like, yes, but more so in a defensive war. Well, let me present the idea that the black race felt at this time like they were in a defensive war. And might feel that way today I don't, I don't speak for anyone but I'm trying to empathize and sympathize and when I put myself in that position of watching people my skin color die just because of their skin color it enrages me to the point where I, I understand the violence now like I had never understood it before because I had never had the full context and now that I do it kind of pisses me off like it pisses me off that this is pushed in school's curriculums, that this is the education that I get, that I have to look this up on my own, that, like, memes inform me more than professors. Like, this kind of bullshit, it, it is upsetting and disappointing. And I would just like to go on the record as a, I don't know, white southern male and just say, like, I support the idea that the Black Panthers had to fight for equality. Like, and... I don't think it's okay to kill people. I do think it's okay to kill people if you're getting killed. If you're if someone's trying to kill you, you can defend your life and fight for your life. So I just wanted to say all that. I wanted to say I'm disappointed in the Southern school system and I'm disappointed in race relations and how they're taught. And I'm also disappointed and just 
my not my peers i guess because they're like victims of this like i am i'm disappointed in myself a little bit for not being more educated but i would just like to come out here be a bit vulnerable be honest and just say i didn't know this now i do and i hope other people can know this information too please spread it along and understand this is not coming from anything except a, a place of peace and love and recuperation and i want everyone to heal from the past not fight over it um peace and love guys likes comment subscribe thank you so much and a uh, special shout out to streamer, YouTuber, everything really, Hassan, for uh, putting me on to some of this. And um, you can like and subscribe to him too. He's got fantastic comment on Twitch. He's a streamer and a YouTuber. Um, also, shouts out to Real Life Ryan again. Uh, love that guy. Always super intelligent guy. Gives you really great breakdowns of anything he's talking about. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to show some love at the end and highlight black panther um their fight for equality and how racist uh history um scrubs things and how media manipulates things and i just want you guys to really consider the other side always uh really make sure that you consider things um thanks peace